St. John's Bay. I love this, this detail though, it's pretty. Who doesn't love a Chanel-esque vintage bag? This is really pretty actually. Do I pick this up? Let me just pick it up. You guys know. You guys know. <laughs> it's not even a notion. Let's see. Let's go over here. Some straw. Look at that bow detail. Ooh, what's this? It's like Forever 21 or something. Or Aldo. Looks like Rebecca Mingoff. It's pretty. Pretty. Hmm, who's this? Jessica, oh no, Simple, I thought it was Jessica Simpson. All right, let's go around. Well, hold on, looks like B. Mikowski. You can always tell by the inside. Yep, B. Mikowski. Somewhere on it down. Oh no, it's Jessica Simpson. Oh, my bad, uh-oh. Doesn't B. Mikowski do the animal print? Okay, well, Jessica Simpson. Okay, guys, here's a dilemma. I just found this faux Gucci, but nobody knows it's faux but me. <laughs> Let's see how much the faux is. Four dollars. Mm, I think I will be keeping this. What do you guys think about that when you find faux at a thrift store? Yeah, your name. Leave a comment. I like this. What's that color? I like. I like this. I like the style of it. What is this? This is Charming Charlie. You know what, they make some really good bags. They really do, like style bags, because they're very on trend. Baglini, I don't know who that is. Who's that, guys? Looks like a mom bag. This is nice. Oh, you guys know I love all about the rope detail. Who is this? This is, I don't know who this is. Who is this? Jen? Gem. You guys know I love that rope. It's so pretty. All right, let's see. Let me put that over here. Okay. Very Poochie esque. Fair Bradley. Let's see what's going on over here. What's this? Beast on oh, Char Garcia. brand doesn't mean anything though there's a lot of brands I've never heard of all right let's head over into coats I love seeing stuff like this <laughs> at the thrift store it's a little rusted but this is really nice kid craft I would so get that for Raleigh Give it to my mom to clean off because she loves that stuff. <laughs> but look, a little working knob, a little sink. So cute, little burner. She already has like a Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse, um, Minnie Mouse oven, so she doesn't need it. Oh, is the oven work? Oh, okay, like a little fridge. Not an oven. Okay. Well, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Let me not lie. <laughs> a lot of leather. I actually like that detail. If that wasn't on there, I like that. No woman Carter. There's not a lot of coats in this location. 
Playboy four XL sweater. You can actually make that a um, what you call it, a sweater dress. Um, not that many coats, guys. Not any coats, I should say. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so we're over on shoes. Not for me. I don't know. I'm not really, I don't know. I've been finding shoes in other places, so I'm not really thrifting that much shoes. And a lot of these thrifted shoes, unless they're um, designer, they're not really worth the money, to be honest. So they have to be really amazing. And there are stores that are just selling better shoes for lower prices, so. But I just wanna show you what they have at this store. Yeah, see anything? Oh, what are these? The big buckle is in. I mean, it's always in. I, let me not say it's in for the fall. You know, the big classic buckle is just always in. It really is. You know, I'm not a trend girl. I am, but I'm not. What is this? What's vintage? I am, but I'm not. I like what I like. Let's see. Are we seeing anything? that pink scent. Oh, looks like someone donated their store. Rachel, Rachel Roy. Okay, that's a good seven. I don't remember what the color of the day was. Purple. The color of the day is purple. Oh, yeah, somebody donated their store big time. Spanish leather by Sergio somebody. This is Seven purple. Oh, look, got the other color. Oh, no, it's a different brand. So, yeah, big buckle, size 11. It's a pretty shoe. A little scuffing there, but very pretty shoe. This pinky nude color is so me right now. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, let's keep looking. Oh, what is this? Somebody sold their shoe store because this brand is a bunch of shoes. Oh, yeah, see? Somebody just offloaded their, um, their shoe store. Sam Edelman. Which of these? Oh, barely one. 6W. Hmm. Is this my size? <laughs> As I say, I'm not buying shoes. I don't know what size this is. Looks like my size though. I'll put it in there. Looks like a 10. I'm not a 10. I'm a 9. nine well, not that it's baby. I'm not a baby anymore. This grown up. <laughs> I like that though. For six bucks. I think they came from Nordstrom. Okay. Well, we'll check it out. Oh, White House Black Market. This is a nice little marriage at nine and a half, eight. Oh, okay. Where's the other one? Do y'all see the other one? What? I'm gonna find the other one. That's really cute. Okay, that may be. Oh, I need to find the other one. I don't know where the other one is. Okay, so I found the other shoe. Look at this. It's so cute. I like the detail. Those are really cute. I think those are gonna be too big, but those are really cute. Seven in the circus. Seven. Okay, so you know what? The shoes are not that bad in here, to be honest. They're not bad. Platforms, see that one, which of these? 10 yellow, okay. It's not bad. Oh, look at these. Oh, these are cute, Jay Renee. Let me tell you something, this shoe with a red bottom would be like thousands of dollars, couldn't you see it? This is very pretty. If this was my size, I would cop it. But it's not. But that looks like a red bottom type of shoe. Oh, Zara collection. Oh, look at the back, Zara. This is pretty. It's very pretty. Very holiday. What size is that? Uh, what does it say? 37. It's a 37. These are 12. It's 
Very pretty. Ooh. Listen, give them the sparkle and the animal print, honey. Welcome to South Florida. <laughs> These are nice. This is who I want to be. <laughs> is that supposed to be like that? Or I think it fits the shoes. So. These are 12. Paper Fox. These are nice. Oh, these are so. Oh my gosh, if these were my size, this is cute vintage. Oh, you know what size are they? I don't know what size. They're small though. Those are nice. Those are really cute. Those are really cute. Okay, let's show you what's going on in plus. Um, because I think I make it look easy when I haul plus size stuff, and it's not that easy. There's a lot of digging. There are a lot of, I don't want to say duds, because it's just not my style. But, um, I'm kind of quick when it comes to this stuff. This is so my mom. Oh my god. That is Joyce. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that's not my style. That I just have to kind of go through. Who is this? This is INC, so I love that it's wrapped, but here's my thing with plus, okay? You can't do too much, so you can't have a wrap, and then a frill, and then a white, it's just too much, it's too much going on in one shirt. I think they try to do stuff that they think is pretty, and it's not, it's not. Okay, that just came off. Hold on. Um, I'll fix that later, but it's not. It's just too much in one piece. Okay, so here's Calvin Klein. 1X. Yes, keep it basic. Keep it basic. See that? And you just have a pretty little sleeve. That's all we need. Don't give us too much. Oh, Lane Grant. Denim shirt. I do love a denim shirt. I do. I do do a lot of denim on denim. What size is this? It is seven bucks. I don't know if that's going to fit the girls. I want And I want it a bit longer. Oh, gosh. Come on, Dion. Get it together. <laughs> get it together. This is a Target brand? Time something. Yeah, I think it's a Target brand. Yeah. Romans. Actually, hold on. With a belt. I know you're saying this is a lot, Dion. But I like that. You know what? I wear this as a dress. Truth be told, <laughs> let's not get it twisted. Let me go to put that in there. We'll try it on. I like this colorway, if we can tell. It's like brown and pink. It's pretty. Second reach. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty. All right. Yeah, I'm not in for the print, so I don't feel like looking through this section. Okay, guys, so you know when I find vintage, I get excited. And so I just found this piece, and the only thing is, is it has this bit of staining here, but I just love this piece so much. Like, it's not for me, of course, it would be for my vintage store, but I just, I just, I just think it's gorgeous. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to, I'm going to put it in the cart and then make a decision when I check out, but I just love that. With some beautiful brown, like, over-the-knee boots. Beautiful. All right, darling. So here is a look that I put together just for this bag. I love this skirt. I wouldn't miss. Well, no, this sweater is okay with it. I just picked up the sweater because it has all the colors of the skirt. Isn't my first choice, but you know when you thrift, you do what you do. And so I just wanted to show you how I would wear the purse. It's kind of cute, right? And so yeah, let me know what you think. Is faux a yay or a nay? Do we do faux from the thrift store? 
leave your comment below. I really want to hear your thoughts. I have my own thoughts, but I really want to get the discussion going. Do we do faux or is faux a no-go? <laughs> I keep going with this faux, no, no-go, faux. I could keep doing that. Anyway, love you. We never pay retail. Thank you for shopping with me and <sighs> join me this week because I still want to go out and see if I find any oversized fall um, coats, winter coats to sling over my shoulders so I look like the cool kids. I look like I'm on trend. All right. Love you. We never pay retail. Bye.